Wow, that's a lazy choice of music they put on. Like come on. I hope, this music has its meaning. Hello. Hey Ed, how are you then? Well, I am doing well, as this music for this background doesn't really help me, at all. Wait, what background music, Ed? Her. Hang on. Oi you, turn that beep off. Finally, you were asking for something? Well, I was calling if you wanna go grab a cup of teas and talk about, number of exciting, random stories today? Well, I may not have anything planned till after 2pm. So I'm pretty much do what I must free right now. Alrighty then, should we meet up at? That cafe? What cafe is that? God damn it Eddie. You know what cafe I'm on about. Well you should have tell me, which I am right beside you. What? Holy, crap. Well, I just got here, as you didn't even notice it. So where are a cup of teas? Oh. Crap baskets. I got this. Two cup of teas with a side of cookies please. Coming right up Ed. Wait, how did she know you Ed? Well, I may have my connections, and when I come about. Here you go gents, two teas, and some cookies. Enjoy. Smashing. So Ed, what's been happening lately? Oh don't get me started, what's I've been doing? So tell me about it mate. Well, last few days ago, we didn't had a microwave for three days as my folks been ordering one and didn't come and deliver. You what? Yes. But the delivery company claims that they did deliver our microwave in one day as they delivered to one of our neighbors and somehow. Those beeping neighbors just told the delivery driver that they don't know us by that name, and told them to send it back. What the hell, ma'am? How do they not know your lot live the same area? Well. I've been living the same area for since when I was few months old, as you could say about. 27 years ago. Wow. And still they never bothered to meet and greet with your family? You have no idea mate. Plus it ain't the first time we had problems from them. Like what sort of problems they have caused? Well. The first problem we ever had was, that bloody neighbor decided to have a bloody rave at their back garden. Which we never get a good sleep as we slept in half a day, cause of those beeping twats. Shit. Language tomboy. Oh right. I mean. That's outrageous. As, how disrespectful of them to cause the disturbances? Like I said, you have no idea. Well at least, I can relate it to that story. Oh really? Let's hear it then. Alright then. Well a few weeks ago, I had my neighbor from the 7th floor making a loud racket. Yeah boy, this beep is banging. Oh it's one of those type of twats who plays loud rap music. But do please continue. Alright, as the music got louder and louder. I got to the point that I have to do something about it. So I decided to go up the 7th floor to confront this prick, as he said. What do you want? So I respond back saying, Oi you, can you turn it down? As if you don't turn it down, I will come back up here, just walk in here without knocking. Ampersand turn it down myself. Then he's reply back by saying, Alright then. So I just left his flat and go back to mine to settle down before. Is that it? Well, not exactly. Just about 20 minutes later, instead he didn't turn it down, he just crank up the full volume. Oh god. Please tell me, what I think you did? Okay, when I said to him. I will come back up here, just walk in here without knocking. Ampersand turn it down myself. Yeah. Well, I did got back up to his flat. Just walked in as his door were unlocked. Just by ejected his CD and chuck it out of the window. You what? Ha 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 ha. Please keep going. Okay, so as I chucked his CD out of the window, he responded with anger. What the hell you playing at? So I turned around and told him. Do you want to go out of the window too? I can do that as it's 7 floor high. 
Look, I'm tired and cranky as I really need my sleep. Get the beep out of my flat now. Okay then. So I decided to leave his flat, but not with empty handed. Oh? What did you take? His CD collection wallet. What? Really? Wait, where the beep are you other CDs went? Ha 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 ha. But what did you do with them? Ding them? Well, not exactly. But much better. I basically just put them in his shed. Wait, why in the shed? Well, that's the beauty of it. Cause this prick of a asshole always leaves his shed unlocked. That anyone can go in there. Well, on the serious note, that's clever. Yeah. When I had some boobar comes along right after I managed to settle down after all that. Say what? Right, let me explain this. I was got settled by watching the TV show of Friends. As all I could hear a siren. Oh, looks like somebody's in trouble. As I thought it was for the seventh floor. But wait until I hear knocking on the door. Oh, for beep's sake, hang on, I'm coming. Whoa, 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 let me guess. Was it the boobars themselves? Yup, that stupid prick just go the police onto me as. He claims that I got his CD stash at my flat, which I haven't. Anyway, I let the police officer in as he asked me. Good evening, sir. I got a report of theft as you took a bunch of CDs collection wallet from flat upstairs on 7th floor. Oh really? You don't say? Have you checked in his shed? As I'm sure I haven't got it here. Alright then. Officer Brooks, can you check it, if they are in the shed? So I was sitting there, for the police to find the CD wallet. Which it wouldn't take that long till they find it. Anyway, they got the report back from Officer Brooks. Aha, uh -huh. alright. They're in the shed. You see, I told you. But, why did you put them in his shed in the first place? Well, here comes the best part. Well, you'll get the case that has the same complaints about the music disturbance. From the same person, and what we are having a discussion about, just put those two cases together as you'll get the answer to that. Okay, you made your point. And that's how it goes. Right, I must try that to my neighbor's rave party if they decided to play it through the night. God damn that bloody music background.